Nikon and Cyanide recently released a game that is made with Unreal Engine and also with Unreal voice acting, animation and graphics. When I heard about this game I actually thought it's gonna be an awesome game but it's not even good. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna review it and explain its flaws and hopefully some good stuffs. The game starts with a beautifully made graphically rich pre-rendered cutscene and I was kinda impressed by the detailed visuals. But it doesn't explain much about what the fuck is actually going on or something. You play as Kahal, a Garu, Garu means a wolf inside a human. You can be a wolf and free roam in this game almost any time. From the beginning I started noticing the bad voice acting and cutscenes. The characters felt like some robots. When talking to someone you are given different dialogues to choose from which actually doesn't matter that much. And here I thought it's gonna be a Witcher 3 like dialogue experience. Wait a minute, Witcher 3 also has werewolves. Fuck! The game's first half an hour will teach you the basics and introduce you to different environmental stops like the vents which you will be using in literally every level. There's gonna be three things in common in every level to move from point A to point B and those are these vents, the doors and the computers. The doors can either be locked or unlocked. If it's locked then you can find a vent somewhere, switch to your wolf farm which they call the lupus farm. Only a lupus can enter these vents and go to the other side of a certain door. You're also allowed to use a computer and open the door and do more stuffs like turning off the camera or turning off a turret. You have this vision called penumbra vision which lets you see through any walls or objects and also it shows which door switch is connected to which computer. I found myself not using this vision that much because it wasn't really necessary most of the time. Now let's talk about the most important thing in this game, combat, and it's boring. First I was having fun being a werewolf and destroying everyone, making blood spatters, unfortunately not tearing limbs from limbs but soon it became super repetitive. The enemy AI was utter dog shit, the enemies are just very simplistically scripted to do certain things like this guy with shotgun just fires a shotgun bullet every 2-3 seconds even when you're hitting him from so close. Then a taser guy tases you which makes you mash the mouse button to break free. The small fries who look like some body pillow or something are very easy to demolish. Hell, even just jumping as the werewolf fucks them up. Some enemies uses a gun with silver bullets which decreases your maximum health for that battle. You should get them first before going for the others because if you lose your maximum health, you can't even heal to the original max health you had. Some big boys uses a briar shield and different weapons. Killing them takes some time. You're given two stances to kill enemies with. One is the agile stance and another is the heavy stance. With the agile stance you can move faster and use a set of different special abilities like the leap or the how. With the heavy stance you move a little slower but your damage and resistance is high and also you have another set of abilities in this stance. Combination of both stances and different abilities are necessary most of the time. I personally use the heavy stance for group of enemies and agile stance for the boss fights. You must unlock the skills from the skill trees first. The spirit points from the skill trees can be acquired by fighting or using different plants that you can see with your penumbra vision. You can heal by using your rage bar and your rage bar can be charged by naturally fighting but if you want to increase them faster you should grab some enemies at the start of any battle and execute them. Because executing them nearly replenishes one rage bar. When your health bar drops you should just heal using those rage bars you collected. The graphics and animation quality feels like this game was developed in 2010 and released now. For a 2021 game, this graphics is really not that good. I've also seen some glitches too, like sometimes the body disappears after you kill someone and sometimes it doesn't. Like how do you want me to play this game? The stealth in the game is okay, you basically become a wolf and silently kill enemies but it's also easy to get detected. Most of the time you have to sabotage the enemy reinforcement doors or destroy a camera. You can use a crossbow which only has 3 bows that can kill some normal enemies. But I mostly went in rage mode and did the repetitive boring combats. I was trying so hard to like the combat but I couldn't because of the AI and animation is too messy. I think good old prototype is a better beat em up game while going berserk mode at the same time. Mech robots will spawn sometimes and they can take some time to kill. These robots uses 
electric shocks, flamethrower or rockets on you but this all can be dodged pretty easily. Later in the game there's a thing called a worm which makes all those normal enemies into mutated zombie like creatures. After you finish killing some normal enemies they reborn with those zombie like creatures. Those creatures also have janky annoying animations and bad AI. Often I've seen these big belly idiots just walking to go to other side where I'm just hitting him all the time. As a result, it eventually dies. In normal mode it wasn't that much of a challenge. There are some boss fights which I actually enjoyed but it's the same type of different boss fights. They add some diversity to the game and is challenging enough from the monotonous combats. The skill points help adding different combat styles and abilities you can perform. The story of this game is good but it's short in my opinion. I'm not gonna spoil the story as it was released a few days ago. I didn't really like the level designing because the levels felt really straightforward. Forward. You mostly just hack or plant something in the levels to accomplish the missions. It also feels like you just open tons of doors and fight a truckload of janky enemies. Literally 90% of the game I unlocked a door and it's a room full of enemies, reinforcement doors and cameras. This kind of designing made the game really boring for me. Another bad thing is the almost unfinished character models. I've seen one of the worst character animations in video games like they act like a robot and also look like a robot here. This facial model made me cringe hard as fuck. This looks like it's a game from 2005 or something. Even Mafia from 2002 has better character animation. The pre-rendered cutscenes get the job done, they're nothing really special. I like the animation of the wolf transformations but other stuffs like movements and combat animation is janky as shit. I also don't understand the part that this guy is using a riot shield and machete to defend a werewolf like where is this logic coming from? I wanted this game to be good but the developers have failed to deliver that. Now I'm gonna talk about some spoilers of the ending so skip to this timestamp if you don't want any potential spoilers. In the ending you get two choices, one is to avenge your daughter by killing the main villain behind the earth blood or you go after Ava, the chick who always talks in Kahal's comms and helps him in every mission. If you go after Ava she will live and you and your crew can live safely and the villain lives. If you go after the villain then Ava and the other people dies but you get the revenge on the main villain. I think this is such a strange choice as it's basically tying a knot with whether you're gonna get a boss fight or not in the game. That's just my opinion though, I tried both of the endings and I still think killing the villain is a better ending even if Ava dies. Don't sue me, I just wanted the boss fight. At the end of the day, I uninstalled the game with a heavy heart. And that's pretty much all for this Werewolf review video. I really hope the developers will learn from their mistake and we're gonna get a good Werewolf game someday. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.